This is Pixel Snap, and it lets you measure anything on your screen in pixels. Of course, I myself find little to no use case for such an app, especially for $40. But nevertheless, it lets you measure objects by magically snapping to them, add snappable guides, and even take perfectly aligned screenshots. Welcome to this video, where I show off some interesting Mac apps that before making this video, I had no idea existed. Stay and you might find some cool ideas for apps to download into your MacBook because each of them serve a very specific purpose. Moving over to Unite, which is an app that turns websites into apps. For example, as you probably know, there is no such a thing as a native Netflix or YouTube app for your Mac. So with the help of Unite, you'll be able to turn those pages into standalone apps that you can then access from your dock. Now this is Al Dente, which helps extend the life of your MacBook's battery with an interesting concept. You've probably heard that lithium-ion and polymer batteries, like the one in your MacBook, last the longest when operating between 20 and 80%. Keeping your battery at 100 most of the time will significantly shorten the lifespan of the battery. So what this app does is it sets a more healthy charging range and doesn't allow for your battery to charge up to a full 100%. Another interesting app is Touch Retouch, which apart from having a really nice logo and a steep price point, lets you remove objects from your images and repair blemishes. It's Photoshop's spot healing brush tool but in a separate application of its own and without anything else. The next app is Timeout, which is free and it reminds you to take a break. When your break begins, your screen turns into a large timeout icon where you can choose to postpone it or skip it entirely. The app has two kinds of breaks, a normal one, which typically lasts for 10 minutes after 50 minutes of work so you can relax, plus a micro break, which is a very brief pause of typically 10 seconds every 10 minutes, so you can remember Remember not to tense up too much for long periods. Moving on to diagrams, which lets you create beautiful, structured, diagrams. The app is straightforward in what it aims to do, so you don't have to spend time trying to understand how it works. Now the Pomatroid app is a simple Pomodoro timer. It has every single timer feature that you would expect from a Pomodoro app, but also lets you customize various settings and even has different color themes built in to suit even the light theme users. And this is the Chronicle app that lets you track your your bills and subscriptions so you never miss to pay them again. With the free version, you can add your bills to the app and set their due dates and when the time comes, the app will remind you to not be late to pay them. The next app is MindNode, which is very similar to diagrams, but it's designed for ideas. It lets you capture and organize your ideas into mind maps, but what impressed me the most is the nice animation when adding a new node to your mind map, which just magically snaps the new one to whichever node is the closest. That also makes creating new nodes very easy. What's also impressive is Downy, which makes it easy to download videos from the internet without having to browse shady MP4 converter websites. You just paste a link from a site like YouTube and you're able to download that video to your Mac. Of course, these apps aren't for every Mac user, but if you really want to discover more handy utilities, I've also compiled a playlist of the best Mac apps out there, which hopefully will 10x or even 100x your productivity. So if you're interested, I will link to it in the description.